Hi there. Let's go through a brief overview of some of the exciting new features and enhancements available in Jamf Pro 11.5. Packages are an essential piece in any Jamf Pro administrator's toolbox. With the release of Jamf Pro 11.5, package settings have been redesigned, including some highly requested features and even more API endpoints. Let's take a look. From the Jamf Pro dashboard, navigate to Settings, Computer Management, Packages. Here, we can see that many more details about each package are visible within columns directly on this page. Columns can be rearranged by clicking a column header and dragging it left or right. And if there are too many columns to see at once, you can scroll to the right to see more. Click the settings icon in the upper right corner to customize which columns are displayed and to pin columns to the left or right so they're always visible while scrolling. Click a column header to sort the view by that package detail, or use the search field to filter the displayed list of packages. A checkbox is available to the left of every package, allowing administrators to select multiple packages and export details to a CSV file or delete them all at once. Packages can now be downloaded directly from Jamf Pro for inspection or manual installation. Simply find the package you want to download and click the new Download button. The upload experience has been simplified as well. To upload a package, click New, then drag and drop your package into the New Package page. Click Save, and the package will begin uploading. While the upload completes, you can continue working. Jamf Pro displays a dialog box on any page you visit, informing you of the upload progress. You can even upload multiple packages simultaneously. Finally, for those who love automation, the Jamf Pro API has new endpoints to match these features, including endpoints for package upload, CSV export, and package deletion. Jamf Pro 11.5 brings the ability to present a custom tailored message to everyone who logs in to your Jamf Pro server. This can be used for any number of purposes, but a few examples might include presenting an announcement or reminder to other Jamf Pro users and administrators, displaying a policy notice, or simply providing a welcome message. Once configured, the login message will appear over the Jamf Pro dashboard following login. To configure a login message, navigate to Settings, System, Login Page. Enable Include a Disclaimer Message and optionally enable Show Preview. Enter a short message heading up to 20 characters in length. In the main field, enter text to be displayed in the main body of the message. Please note that this field does not support HTML or Markdown formatting, nor does it support line breaks. In the Action field, enter your preferred text for the button that will be clicked to acknowledge the message and proceed to the Jamf Pro dashboard. Finally, click Save to complete the login message configuration. When any user next logs in to this Jamf Pro server, they'll see the message we created. When creating custom, script-based extension attributes, it's common for data to not be available until each computer completes an inventory update. This can cause issues with reporting, as it's difficult to know whether there's a problem or whether the computer just needs more time to process. In Jamf Pro 11.5, you can now search for and create groups of computers with an empty extension attribute field, allowing further insight into the status of your organization. To see it in action, we need an extension attribute that uses a script to return integer type data, such as battery cycle count, which is available as a template. This extension attribute will query each computer for the number of times the battery has been fully charged and discharged and return the number of cycles to Jamf Pro. Next, let's search for computers that haven't reported their battery cycle information. In the left sidebar, click Computers, then Search Inventory. Click New to create a new advanced computer search. On the Criteria tab, click Add, then click Show Advanced Criteria. Find Battery Cycle Count in this list and click Choose. With this criteria, when I perform this search, all computers with nothing in the Battery Cycle Count field will be displayed, informing me of which computers have yet to update their inventory. Jamf Pro 11.5 includes new logic to make managed software updates even more simple when including mobile devices in an update plan. Now, install actions which are only supported by macOS are not present when creating an update plan targeting mobile devices. Additionally, when creating an update plan targeting mobile devices and computers, install actions that are only supported by macOS will only be sent to computers. Targeted mobile devices will instead receive a different supported install action.
organizations leveraging LAPS in Jamf Pro to randomize, rotate, and audit passwords for local administrator accounts will find new features to customize the experience in Jamf Pro 11.5. These new features were previously only available via the Jamf Pro API, but they're now easily accessible from within settings, computer management, security. The password settings for managed local administrator accounts section is where these new controls can be viewed and adjusted. Enable laps for pre-stage accounts will randomize and rotate the password for all managed local administrator accounts created via MDM, whether during a pre-stage enrollment or afterward. This setting has complex interactions and potential to interrupt previously established workflows, so we recommend checking out the full release notes and documentation before making any changes to this setting. Rotation Interval determines how often Jamf Pro will automatically rotate passwords for managed local administrator accounts. Rotation After Viewing Interval determines how soon Jamf Pro should rotate a managed local administrator account password after the password is viewed from a computer's inventory record. These two settings are global and affect all managed local administrator accounts, whether created during pre-stage enrollment or later via MDM or the Jamf binary. That's it for our quick overview of some of the new features introduced in Jamf Pro 11.5. Be sure to check out the Jamf Pro release notes in the Jamf Learning Hub at learn.jamf.com to review all of the exciting updates. Thanks for watching.